all right guys welcome back to another detail video in this video i'm going to be ceramic coating this lexus is 250 f sport the ceramic coating that i chose for this car is armor shield by avalon king i think it's one of the best ceramic coatings out in the market right now Applying a ceramic coating is a very lengthy process, so you really want to make sure you take your time and do everything as best as possible. So the first thing I start off by doing is rinsing the car off. Then I applied iron remover and you guys are about to see what that does. This step is very important. You got to make sure that you get this all over the car. It can be applied on windows, wheels, paint, everything. The main thing is you wanted to contaminate everything. The way you know the product is doing what it's supposed to do is it starts to turn purple on the paint, as you guys can see right there. Um, there wasn't that much iron on this car, but you can see right there. So after you let the iron remover sit on the car for a little bit, it is very important to remove it also. Then after that, I cleaned the wheels with Super Clean 10 to 1. And then what you guys are seeing right now is me washing the car with, uh, it's this soap called Purple Power Vehicle and Boat, which is my stripping wash. Um, what I'm doing right now, and I'm also clay barring as I go, because a lot of the bugs were very embedded on the front of the car. So it was important for me to clay bar. Right after the wash, the wash took about 45 minutes to do everything that I did to get it to basically almost perfect condition or at least as close as possible to perfect conditions. It was anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour just doing that. And for this car, my polishing process was a Lake Country HDO orange pad followed with a Sonax Perfect Finish compound. I polished this car before twice, so it doesn't need a very deep correction. The polisher that I used for this vehicle was my Max Shine M15, and the rags are by the rag company. The best rags you can actually get. I ordered them off Amazon. It is very important to inspect your work, and that's why I'm using my Flex Light Swirl Finder Light. Basically, helps you look at all the imperfections. Once again, I'm not going to sit here and demonstrate my whole polishing process because it would take 
literally hours to show this because this job took me four hours to do just the polishing step took about two and a half So this is right after the whole polish on this Lexus. Like I said before, the paint is not in terrible shape. It's actually in really good shape, just needed a little touch up. And this is the unboxing of Armor Shield by Avalon King. So you get the ceramic coating in that little fancy bottle looking thing. Inside there's the microfiber towel, the gloves, and the little sway. That's the block you use to um, coat and your little sticker and once again I'm gonna apologize for the image that my phone gives off in this video it's completely terrible the lighting kind of sucks in this angle but this is like the best angle that I can get for this video and as you guys can see you want to get that block right there um, want to put a lot of drops when you first start when you're applying a ceramic coating, you have to be very careful and you have to take your time. You have to go horizontal and vertical always. And you wanna work in two by two sections if you can. If you're not that experienced, at least do it in small sections. If you have more experience, then you can work bigger sections, but still with the same concept up and down and across. I'm gonna speed up the video and also i as you guys can see right now i'm not using that black block that came with the ceramic coating i'm actually using a chemical guys microfiber applicating pad i prefer these because i feel like i can cover more um, when i'm applying ceramic coating and it's a lot quicker The most important thing when applying a ceramic coating is you make sure you don't leave any high spots because that will be very noticeable in the sun. One thing I didn't mention is when to remove the ceramic coating. So after you apply it, it turns to a different color, it kind of looks oily. And then <clears throat> you want to leave it in there for about 30 to 60 seconds before you start removing. So to speed up the process of the ceramic coating application, I was the one applying the ceramic coating because I have a little bit more experience doing this while my brother is the one that is removing the ceramic coating as you guys can see right here even though the video is sped up you can tell he's waiting a couple seconds before he starts removing and you want to remove it all also up and down and across you don't want to do it in circular motions
if you pay close attention, you can see right there where the ceramic coating is curing. And you're about to see my brother removing it in live action. Right there, I'm sure you guys can see it right there. You guys can see that right there. That's how the coating looks. And removing it is very simple. It's not hard at all. Right there, you guys saw how quick that thing came off. Last but not least, we ended up coating the wheels for this client because the good thing about Avalon King ceramic coating is you can literally apply it on every exterior piece of the car. Rims, headlights, trim, paint, windows, everything. Chrome, everything you have on the exterior can be coated with this um, ceramic coating. That's exactly why I chose this coating for this car because it's got black trim, the wheels are very nice, and I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of different coatings for different parts of the vehicle. So I chose Avalon King and went with this because, like I said, you can coat absolutely everything. And this is what me and my brother are doing for the last step, coating the wheels. And you wait about... 30 to 60 seconds and you start buffing off the ceramic coating and you're good to go and check out that gloss i mean this is unmatched you can't make a car this shiny just by a normal detail this ceramic coating is on another level and that's why you charge a lot more for this type of detail because it requires a lot more time and patience and this is a deep detail that a lot of people don't understand why it's so expensive, but you got to also look at it this way. You're protecting your car for the two to five years. So it's an investment that you're making. And this car, it's a beautiful car. So it's a very great investment to do for this car. Also, keep one thing in mind. Applicating the ceramic coating is one thing, but the next important thing is you have to let the ceramic coating bond and cure to the paint so this car stayed in a garage for at least 24 hours without being exposed to any contaminants rain or elements 